another beautiful day, another beautiful video. Karibu sana kwenye channel yetu. Leo niko so much excited na furaha sana kwa sababu gani? Leo na furaha kwa sababu tutapiga story na naamini katika hii story ambayo tutapiga wewe kijana ambaye unaangalia hii video wewe hapa naongea na wewe. Tutajifunza vitu vingi sana. Tutajifunza vitu vingi sana kuhusu biashara, tutajifunza vitu vingi sana kuhusu siri ya mali, pia zaidi ya yote utajifunza vitu vingi sana kuhusu ishu nzima ya forex. Leo actually tutapiga tu story kuhusu my forex journey. Uh, jinsi gani nilianza forex? Jinsi uh, gani nilianza forex? Uh, nili, niliendaje nilipotezaji ala nyingi sana kwenye forex na niliwezaje kurudi mpaka leo hii nipo hapa ambapo naweza nikajiita successful trader naweza nikajiita profitable trader na miaka minne kwenye game la forex trading na katika hii miaka minne naweza nikasema imekuwa ni miaka ya kujifunza vitu vingi sana imekuwa ni miaka ya maumivu mengi sana lakini na kuhakikishia hakuna kipindi ambacho na furaha kama kipindi hiki Hakuna kipindi na furaha kama kipindi hiki. Naomba niseme kwa vibe kwa sababu I'm so much confident. Um, safari imekuwa ngumu sana. Miaka minne so ni raisi. na katika miaka minne it's only mwaka jana 2019 ndio nimeanza kuwa profitable. Kwa nilikuwa na mwaka 2016 napoteza hela zangu, mwaka 2017 napoteza hela zangu, mwaka 2018 napoteza hela zangu, mwaka 2019 mwanzoni napoteza hela zangu. And I can tell you hakuna mtu ambaye anapoteza Tanzania hii hakuna mtu kapoteza ila nyingi kwenye forex kama mimi. Hakuna mtu ambaye amekuwa so much disappointed na forex kama mimi. Hakuna mtu kaumizwa uh, kwenye forex kama mimi. I've gone through the worst. I've gone through deep end. Lakini kitu ambacho kilinifanya mimi nisirudi nyuma, mimi nisache forex ni kwamba nilikuwa mtu wa kwanza kuintroduce forex Tanzania katika jamii ya vijana ambao wana trade forex Tanzania. Kama kuna mtu ana trade forex na mfahamu sa GF Dennis, tutakuwa na matatizo so wakati na introduce forex niliaminisha watu na ilikuwa kuna technology ambayo ni common sana jamii forums kwa sababu nilitumia platform ya jamii forums kuwafikia zaidi ya watu laki moja wakaifahamu forex Tanzania hii na nilisema kwamba forex is a, is a way of downloading money ni njia ya kudownload pesa kama unavyo download wimbo um, kwenye uh, kwenye platforms za kudownload nyimbo so ikifika kipindi kwamba mimi natamani ama nataka kuacha ku trade forex najiuliza watu wengine ambao niliwe introduce niliwaambia kwamba forex ni, ni, ni sehemu ya kupata pesa forex ni kitu ambacho kinaweza kumsaidia kijana wa aina yoyote ambaye hajawahi kuajiriwa anatamani kujiajiri forex ipo kwa ajili yake alafu leo Jeff ambaye anasema hayo maneno ameacha hiyo kitu ilikuwa inani haunt ni kama vile inani inanifuata usiku inaniambia mzee endelea kukomaa endelea kukomaa mwaka jana mwaka 2019 for the first time nikaanza kusema I'm a very successful trader wakati nilipofikisha my six figure dollar account account yangu yenye 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 figure sita za dola hapo nimaanisha zaidi dola laki moja so nilijoji forex forex nilijoji mwaka 2016 baada ya kumaliza chuo nimesoma university of dar es salaam uh, nimesoma course ambayo hai relate kabisa hata kidogo na biashara hai relate hata kidogo na ujasiri ya mali hai relate hata kidogo na financial markets nasoma petroleum chemistry yani mkemia wa gesi na mafuta sasa hivi ilikuwa inabidi niwe kwa mkemia mkuu hapo ama niwe TBS ama niwe bandarini pale ninapima mafuta ambayo anaingia nchini lakini i took a different route nikaingia kwenye masuala ya biashara masuala ya ujasiri ya mali masuala ya uchumi ambao vitu ambavyo sijavisoma kabisa lakini namshukuru sana Mungu namshukuru sana Mungu kwa mbali nipa akili nilianza kutembea nikiwa mdogo sana nje ya nchi nakumbuka kati niko chuo mwaka wa pili nikaanza kutoka nje ya Tanzania nikaenda South Africa nikaweza kwenda Marekani nikaweza kwenda Kenya nimeenda Ghana nimeenda UK uh, nimeenda Ontario Canada ambapo ndio hapo nikapata nikajipa hilo jina nike mambo watu wengine wanifahamu kwa Ontario especially kwenye jamii forums sasa kitu kikubwa katika hii exposure ambayo niliipata mwaka 2016 baada ya kumaliza chuo mwezi wa saba Uh, ni trip ambayo nilifanya kwenda South Africa. Na huko kimsingi ndipo nilijua for the first time nilifahamu forex. Niliona forex nikaifahamu na nikaona watu wamebadilisha maisha maisha watu wamebadilika kabisa kupitia forex trading. Kwa hiyo kuna kijana mmoja na I think uh, kama mtu ukipata muda ambao unaangalia hii video ingia 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 Google alafu andika biashara ambayo benki haitaki uifahamu. Kitu kama iko sikumbuki exact topic lakini mwaka 2017 I think kama sijakosea nishakuandika uzi kama huo jamii forums ambao ni uzi uliangaliwa na watu wengi sana, umesomwa na watu wengi sana na uzi ambao ni popular one of the most popular threads 
on Jami forums ambao nilizungumzia the way nivo in farm forex na na na, na, na nia yangu kuleta forex Tanzania kwa vijana wengi sana for the first time na nakumbuka mwaka 2017 Uh, nilianzisha the first training institution Tanzania the first training uh, forex training institution ambapo nilipartner na a couple of friends uh, from South Africa alikuwa uh, na washikaji wawili mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Riabet Nkopane mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Criten Valoi ajao kuna vijana wangu wakisikia jina yani utungu <laughs> lakini at the end of the day ni, ni safari ya maisha we learn uh, we learn uh, 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 criticize maisha yako hausemi kwamba una bahati mbaya hausemi kwamba uh, siju una una nuksi hausemi kwamba hujabarikiwa it's a part of learning it's a curve na mimi pia nilichukulia in a positive way vitu vingi sana vitokea lakini what i can i can i can say nilifunza vitu vingi sana nilianzisha TMT uh, TMT ambayo ilikuwa the million team ambayo ilikuwa ni training institution ya kwanza kabisa kufundisha forex Tanzania and i can say sio zinkadanganya siwezi nikawa mnafiki we made a lot of money kupitia ile project Uh, ni biashara of course kama biashara nyingine yote nilianzisha ni I spent a lot of money na kumbuka wakati naianzisha uh, nilikuwa nina idea kwamba okay nimeiona forex nimebadilisha maisha yangu mimi kama bado nilikuwa sijabadilika maisha yangu kivile lakini nilikuwa naweza kuona naweza kupata faida dola 1000 dola 2000 dola 2000 dola 2000 elfu nne nilikuwa sijaanza kuenda kwenye hizo numbers kubwa lakini nilikuwa naona ile future kubwa naona watu wengine wamefanikiwa and I was saying to myself hata mimi naweza nikafanikiwa pia nikawa nasema kwamba hata kijana mwingine wa Tanzania ambaye maybe kamaliza chuo, maybe mwingine yupo kwenye ajira, maybe mwingine bado yuko chuo, mwingine yuko mtaani, anaweza katumia hii fursa kubadilisha maisha yake. Then I said I want to bring this thing to, to my Tanzanian people. Uh, nilitumia kiasi kiasi kikubwa sana cha pesa na nakumbuka ni most ya hiyo pesa ambayo nilitumia, pesa nyingi ilitoka kwenye issue zangu za kilimo na, na kama kama wanakumbuka ile video ambayo nilizungumza milioni mia moja yangu ya kwanza kuipata most of the money niliingiza kuingiza kama milioni 80 kwenye hii project ya, ya, ya TMT the million team uh, TMT ilikuwa tuna office a very corporate um, office hapo hapo Jangin Plaza nilitumia pesa kubwa sana kuweka kila kitu kusafiri kwenda South Africa kufanya kila kitu logistics na kila kitu nilitumia almost milioni 78 kwenda 80 uh, tuka wakaja wa South Africa wale Tukaanza tukaanza program na ilikuwa nzuri. Watu walikuwa wanafanya wanafanya forest kwa mwanzoni ilienda fresh sana miezi miwili mitatu ya mwanzoni kuanzia mwezi wa kumi I think mpaka mwezi wa kumi na mbili mwishoni mwishoni mambo yalikuwa mazuri sana. Baadaye mambo kaanza kuharibika na uh, nitasema tu kweli kwamba tulikuwa tunapata almost mpaka milioni 80 kwa mwezi milioni 80 milioni 90 kwa mwezi kama faida kampuni kama kampuni. Na tulioperate kwa kama miezi flani kama sita saba hivi. Kwa hiyo ukipiga hapo hesabu za haraka haraka milioni 80 kwa miezi saba it was a lot of money. Almost kama milioni 100 flani hivi 500, yani milioni flani 500. And was enough story ya kusikitisha sana watu wengi wajui. Katika ile project nilinufaika kidogo sana. Na iliniumiza sana. I lost all the money pesa yote ambayo tulikuwa nimefanyia kazi kama miezi saba resources zote ambazo tulikuwa nimezinunua mimi zingine kwa hela zangu kabisa hela zangu za shambani yani hela za mahindi hela za kuku hela za mpunga zote zimepotea kwenye ile project na kumbuka mwezi wa 12 uh, tulikuwa tuna ile vacation tulienda South Africa tukanunua magari mawili by that time tulikuwa tuna Audi A6 ambayo ilikuwa 2017 tukaenda South Africa um, tukanunua um, Range Rover Sport uh, pia tukanunua BMW X5 M Sport ya mwaka 2017 I think very classic car. Um don't mean zero kilometer, very expensive cars chini ya kampuni uh, kupitia wale partners wenzangu. Na mimi nilikuwa shareholder mkubwa nilikuwa na asilimia moja ya kampuni alafu wale wengine kwa milioni hizo zile zilizobakia. So tulivorudi nikashangaa mambo yanabadilika. Mambo yaende kama kama anavyozidi kunatakiwa kwenda. Wale 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 wanafunzi wetu wa TMT ambao tulikuwa tunabidi tuwasaidie waweze kufanikiwa kupitia forex kwanza kupoteza kwanza kupoteza ili mimi niniuma sana kama mwana nikakaa na wale partners wangu nikaambia sikilizeni why are we making losses kwa nini hatuendi vizuri kama tulikuwa tunatakiwa kwenda hawa wateja wetu ama wanafunzi wetu ambao tunawaongoza wanatakiwa watengeneze profits wa withdraw maisha yabadilike na kumbuka mwezi wa 11 mwezi wa 10 wakati tunaanza mwezi wa 12 mwanzoni watu walikuwa wanafanya vitu vikubwa watu walikuwa wanunua magari watu walikuwa wanajenga nyumba watu walikuwa wanasaidia watu walikuwa wanawithdraw like kila week withdraws ni nyingi watu wanafry watu wana enjoy ukienda jami forums everyone is Uh, is praising forex yani ilikuwa ni ramos tare kurudi hivi mwezi wa 12 baada ya vacation mwezi wa kwanza kwanza mambo yamebadilika kumbe mimi kwa sijui in the back of my mind kwa sijui kumbe wale partner wenzangu 
amezunguka amenizunguka nyuma uh, akawa na sababisha watu wanapoteza hela zao kwa makusudi alafu kumbe watu wakishapoteza hela zao kwa makusudi ana kuna hisi kuna deal alicheza na yule broker. Yaani mimi si leo nini kilitokea lakini na hisi kuna deal ambaye alicheza yeye na broker watu wakipoteza hela yeye warudi kule nyuma wa share ile pesa na broker. Sasa kwanza kwa karibu biashara za watu lakini that's how it happened. Na pia nakumbuka tulivorudi ni yale magari um, actually kuna gari moja tulileta South Africa nje tukaja nao hapa Tanzania. Yeah, Tukatoa magari makubwa mawili hapa Tanzania. Essay story na nimeza sana kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho kimetokea sio miaka mingi almost 2 years ago kwa hiyo na nilipoteza la nyingi sana nyingine la zangu kwa jasho ambazo nitafuta kwa jasho na, na kwa, kwa damu lakini at the end of the day nasema nilijifunza vitu vingi sana uh, nakumbuka around mwezi wa 5 hivi jamaa akasema yule one of my partner anaitwa Creton akasema sikilizeni wazee sasa hivi tuna, tunapanga mipango ya TMT kwa expand kwenda nje ya Tanzania nataka twende uh, Botswana naone na Botswana kule ana mtu ambaye ameshaanza kuongea naye wa serikalini ambaye atatufanyia mchongo tupewe tenda ya serikali ya kufundisha financial markets and financial literacy kwenye vyo vyote uh, vya, vya, vya South Africa. Tukamruso aende anakumbuka mimi mwenyewe nilienda benki nikatoa milioni 15 kama sikosei. Oh, oh, no dola 10000 nakumbuka nilitoa in USD kabisa dola 10000 ambayo almost milioni 20 na kitu fulani. Tukampa akasema hii utaenda naye baadaye akasema bwana sababu kule inabidi ni nionyeshe ile presence yetu ni tuonyeshe yale mapafu yetu kwamba we can do this thing acha niende na gari akaomba kwenda na gari kweli kaenda na gari bemesho wa siku yeye ndokoa kuondoka kwake akaondoka na gari akaondoka na ile pesa alafu kitu kitu ambacho siku kisema uh, wakati tuna tuna operate biashara ya ya TMT um bila mwezi wa 12 tulienda South Africa tukapiga mpango kwamba hizi pesa ambazo tunazipata kama faida tuzizitumie vibaya tusigawane faida maybe mpaka mwisho wa mwaka lakini pia hizi pesa zote tuzikusanye kwenye uh, account moja ili kusudi tufungue biashara nyingine ya pili juu ya TMT tufungue TMT ya South Africa ambayo ile TMT ya South Africa itakuwa ina na logistics peke yake yani logistics kusafirisha vitu kutoka sehemu moja mpaka sehemu nyingine lakini tulikuwa tunafikiria kutumia zile zile trailers za za migodini na tupate trenda kwenye migodi na kuna watu mpaka tutaanza kuzungumza nao kwa hiyo tuka pesa zote faida ambazo tunazipata tuna tunaenda kuzi, kuzi, kuzitunza kwenye kwenye hiyo account ya South Africa na nia ni kwamba zile lazima ziongezeke tuanze kununua magari ya logistics tu, tuanze hiyo biashara ya logistics kwa hiyo nakumbuka tulikusanya karibia hela ya miezi yote yani ukiacha tu hela hela ya magari ambayo tulinunua hakuna hela nyingine yoyote ambayo tulikuwa tunatumia mimi shato kwa najilipa of course i think kwa najilipa dola 2000 kwa mwezi which is almost milioni 4 na nusu which is not a lot of money tulikuwa tunajilipa hiyo pesa kama 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 mshahara lakini most of the money tuko tunaika South Africa yule jamaa alivuaga kwamba anaenda Botswana kwenda ku, ku, ku negotiate zile terms na nini kupata hiyo tenda ya TMT kuweza kufundisha Botswana alivondoka na gari la BMW X5 alivondoka ikawa mazima so gari kapigwa gari ya kwanza eh, ikapigwa zile gari zote mbili uh, alafu alivunda kule South Africa sije alicheza mchezo gani na na, na benki akaweza ku withdraw hela zote yani ni kama nilipigwa ni kama ni kama nilipigwa msumari wa utosini nilichanganyikiwa yani niliona email sababu mimi pia nilikuwa signature ya ile account sijui alicheza mchezo gani yule bwana lakini niliona email e, imeingia e, kwamba account yetu hela yote imesafishwa ibakia almost yani hela yote ambayo ilikuwa kwenye account yote imesafishwa hapa Tanzania tulikuwa tuna account ya benki nyingine ambayo kwa ilikuwa ina hela kadhaa ilikuwa kama ina milioni 60 nikaenda benki nikavuta kama milioni 50 55 hivi kuvuta milioni 55 cash ni yangu ni kwamba niende South Africa moja kwa moja niende South Africa naweza kumsaka huyu jamaa. Nikaenda South Africa. Ah, it's a long story mzee lakini I think there's something you learn kama unasikiliza hii hii hi, hi story hii hii kitu. Something you learn na itakusaidia sana wewe katika safari yako ya biashara, safari yako ya forex. Lakini to cut a long uh, a long story short uh, ngo, kila kitu ambacho nilikifanya kilishindikana. Jebu kufungua kesi Uh, South Africa kule kwa mwanasheria ambaye nilikuwa namtumia nilimpa almost dola dola 10000 almost dola 10000 katika ile ambayo ni withdraw almost dola 10000 nilimpa mwanasheria guess what yule mwanasheria alikuwa mshenzi sana yule mwanasheria akanizunguka akaenda ka partner na yule jamaa ambaye anaenda kumshtaki bakao kitu kimoja huyu jamaa akampandia dawa kama mimi nilimpa dola 10000 basi akampandia dawa dola 30 dola 40 alafu kesi ikafunikwa sina kitu cha kufanya i was devastated Ela ambazo nilikuwa nimewithdraw 
zote nimeshazitumia tumia ovyo ile hela ambayo nilikuwa nimeinvest kwenye TMT ambayo nilikuwa nategemea maybe itaanza kuni e, itaanza kunirudishia faida nzuri sana nilikuwa nimetoka kwenye kilimo yote imepotea na rudi Tanzania nakuta furniture zote zimeuzwa uh, screens zote yani facilities zote ambazo zilikuwa pale ofisini zimeuzwa reputation yangu imechafuka Jeff Mwizi Jeff Skama Jeff sijui hivi Jeff vile yani yani katika kipindi ambacho kilikuwa kigumu katika maisha yangu yote i've been in business for a long time lakini kila kipindi kwa ni kipindi ambacho cho. Yaani hata nikikumbuka it's very emotional. Na hata hata nilikuwa najaribu kusema hii story sometimes sipendi kukumbuka hizo memories lakini that's the reality at the end of the day uh, mwanaume ni kupambana mwanaume ni kutoka jasho. So Ivorodi nilikuwa nimebaki na kiasi kidogo sana cha pesa kama dola 5000 nikasema sasa hii ni pesa ambayo inabidi nikae sehemu nitulie nianze ku trade. Guess what? Ni trade ile pesa na yote niliunguza. Yote yani ile pesa iliungua dola moja mpaka mpaka yani kwanza dola 5000 mpaka inabakia dola moja na hiyo na hivi sababu mindset yangu ilikuwa haijakaa sijatulia niko very emotional psychology yangu haijakaa sawa na trade under pressure na trade under tension na trade kwa kukimbizana na muda na trade kwa kukimbizana na hela huku kuna reputation yangu inachafuka huku mara sijui nime nimetukana au mara nimefanya nini nikaamua kabisa nitoke kwenye mitandao ya kijamii yote ni customer instagram to me mpaka leo jamii forums jarudi mpaka leo Twitter nimeanza kutumia mwaka jana mwishoni. Instagram kidogo nikaanza kukecha pole pole kwa ajili ya kujipa faraja na nini lakini maisha yangu ilikuwa devastated. I can say yani kile ndio kipindi ambacho it kidevu kilegusa kwenye sakafu nge I was starting afresh. Nakumbuka kuna kipindi mpaka nilikuwa na azima kwa washikaji. Uwezo ukajua kwa sababu mimi sio mtu wa kukomplain. Yaani siwezi nikaanza kutembea kwa watu, "Ah jamani nitapeli, jamani nindia, jamani nifanye kitu kibaya." I just take everything kwamba I'm responsible for everything in my life. Hakuna mtu mwingine ambaye atakuwa badilisha maisha yangu hata ningepiga makeli kiasi gani. There is no one who is going to come to help me. Nilipoteza zaidi ya dola 200. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yaani hiyo kwa umri wangu by that time sijui kama yaka 24 hivi something like that nimetoka tu chuo sana muda mrefu na miaka 24 au something kupoteza milioni 400 it's a lot of money it's a lot of money ambao probably kama mpaka leo ningekuwa nayo bra ningekuwa niko mbali sana lakini baadaye nikaja nikapata nikapata kuuza kuna kiwanja changu fulani kipo cha linze ningekuuza kama milioni sita ile milioni sita ilikuwa kama dola 2000 na mia hadha nikasema this is the only money that i have between me and poverty it's either naenda chini ama naenda juu nikasema nitulie miezi sita nimejifungia ndani kuna kipindi kwa sionekani sehemu yoyote yani sijui kama sijui kama mtu yote yani mpaka watu wangu wa karibu nyumbani wakao wanioni not anyone yani mekatu ndani nimejifungia chakula na giza naletewa na kula chipsi kavu chips mayai soda maji even vitu kwa nakula 6 months nimetulia ndani trade na trade na trade nikaanza ku raise ile pesa pole pole dola elfu tatu ngapi nikitoa nikafika kipindi nikaa nimeidabu nikasema ah ngoja nitoeke betu yangu yote pap niweke pembeni nianze ku trade na hela broker kimbizana 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 everything went perfect nikaanza sasa ku kuanza kupata ile furaha nikaanza kupata ile ile confidence nikaanza kurudi yani psychology yangu imekaa vizuri emotion imekaa vizuri naanza kusema wow things are coming out kila saa najifunza kila saa nikipoteza hela nasema okay natulia wiki nzima si trade kwa nini nipoteza hela ngoja nisubiri yani nikaanza ku develop my trading system nikaanza ku develop my trading plan nikaanza ku develop my own strategy yani nikaanza kusema this is the business ambayo nataka nifanye for the rest of my life nataka pia watoto wangu waweze kuifanya hii biashara so lazima niweke attention lazima niweke focus kwenye hiki kitu uwezi amini things went well mwaka 2019 um, i won award best forex trader for forex i mean best trader of the month for forex dunia nzima sio tanzania sio dunia nzima na nikaanza kusema nimefika point ambayo naweza nikasema niko nzuri nikaanza kuwa na account ya dola 10000 trade 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 napoteza kidogo narudi natulia napoteza kidogo Uh, kuna madeni ambayo nilikuwa nayo nikaanza kuyalipa. Hakuna kitu ambacho kinagoba kwenye maisha yangu kama madeni. Madeni ya dola 200, 300, madeni ambayo mtu anaweza hata kufedhesha, mtu anaweza kudhalilisha kwa sababu ya dola 300, dola 100. Nikaanza kulipa na clear everything clean. Nikasema I want to focus on building my wealth through forex trading. Sasa hivi ninapozungumza nimerudi, I can say nimerudi in accounts za na, na, na run profits. Yaani sio sio account na run profit dola 45 
nina account kama tano sita hivi na kila siku na na diversify na, 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 na hii account kwa ajili ya chakula hii account kwa ajili ya insurance hii account kwa ajili ya lifestyle hii account kwa ajili ya biashara hii account kwa ajili ya investment hii account kwa ajili kila account hii account kwa ajili ya images na account nyingi na kila siku na diversify kila siku na malengo yangu ambayo naweka nasema nataka ni account mbali mbali nyingi yani hizi zote zinaleta hela na zikitoka na withdraw na weka kwenye specific bank account specific bank account mpaka sasa hivi nikasema na inabidi niwe na program yangu ya withdraw pesa na run, na, na run profit kwa wakati mmoja dola 45 sasa hivi ina, ina trades hapa last time nilikuwa naziangalia kwenye simu yangu almost dola 430 which is a lot of money dola 430 which is a lot of money with the like Tanzania that's more than maybe 65 million Tanzanian shillings na na ukiangalia uh, how I was devastated miaka miaka kadhaa nyuma so siku nyingi maybe miezi tu kadhaa nyuma so mimi kwangu naona forex ni njia nzuri kwa mtu yote ambaye yuko serious what i can tell you i can tell you something very clear na wala sitaki kudanganya forex is not a get rich quick scheme it's kudanganya mtu you can never become successful ndani ya mwezi mmoja usidanganye that's never gonna happen wezi ukatoa dola dola 100 mpaka dola milioni moja. that's never gonna be possible trade ukiwa na malengo trade ukiwa na plan trade ukiwa unajua unaenda wapi trade ukiwa ukiwa very focused lakini what i can promise you the future is exciting yani forex ukiweza ku master ukiweza kuwa professional ukiweza kujua ukaielewa ukikaa ndani una trade na unaona unaona success na nitakwenda back to kimoja hata uwe vizuri kiasi gani hata mimi as we speak i make losses na sasa ngine mnaonaga na post on my instagram na post on my twitter na post on my whatsapp my whatsapp status na post on my groups na na groups mbili tatu ambazo na na engage na na watu sana i post my losses lakini what we look ni kwamba hakuna biashara yoyote chini ya 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 ya, 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 ya mbingu ambayo haina losses never hakuna biashara ambayo ina losses lakini tunachokiangalia what's the ratio kati ya losses and profits what's the ratio kwa kama una losses ya 30 una profit ya 70 guess what you are a profitable trader kama una losses ya 70 una losses ya 70 una profit ya 30 you are losing trader so um, i think kupitia hii story umejifunza vitu vingi kwenye biashara umejifunza vitu vingi kwenye jasiria mali umejifunza vitu vingi kwenye forex trading lakini what i believe wewe kupitia hii video there's something you can do for yourself angalia watu ambao mkuzunguka angalia ndugu zako angalia marafiki zako angalia wazazi wako angalia angalia wewe mwenyewe you have a feature to build usitafute kumimpress mtu jifunze jipe muda sema i want to spend 3 months six months kujifunza whatever amount of money ambayo nitatumia kujifunza i'm willing to do that because at the end of the day the best investment you can make is investing in yourself hicho ndio kitu ambacho alikifanya Warren Buffett one of the most successful investor in in the world uh, alivyokuwa mdogo na miaka 14 alienda kujifunza how to trade alienda kujifunza how to invest leo hii he is worth more than 80 billion US dollars i believe na naamini sana from the bottom of my heart kama mimi niliweza wewe unaweza Ye, yeah, ni raisi, hapana. Ye, yeah, inawezekana. Ndiyo, 100%. If I did it, you can do it. If I did it, you can do it. If I did it, you can do it. Please, if this is the first time you are seeing this video, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, 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 like, subscribe, comment. Kwa sababu, mikapoa sana, mikapoa sana.